You've demanded it for decades. And now, your favorite WWE arcade game is back. WWE WrestleFest, completely reimagined on your iPhone and iPad, featuring the biggest WWE superstars and legends. Challenge a friend in multiplayer tag team matches. Epic DLC content, featuring over 30 WWE superstars and legends. Prove yourself in the Ultimate Royal Rumble. All new Road to WrestleMania storyline. Beat the odds and become WWE Champion. Grab your iPhone or iPad. The classic arcade game, WrestleFest, is available now. So today we're going to be taking a look at WWE WrestleFest. Now note, I said WWE WrestleFest, not WWF WrestleFest, which is another game you might be familiar with. So this was the sequel to that. Well, the planned sequel, actually. I think it did release on iOS. Today we're going to be playing the Xbox version on Xbox Live Arcade. So I'm not sure whether the Xbox version ever did release. I think the iOS version did. The Xbox version, I feel like, was planned to release, and I'm not sure if it ever did. I think it got cancelled. Uh, it was on something called Xbox Live Arcade, so it's a little bit different to a normal Xbox game. I think you play online Xbox Live against other people. But yeah, let's uh, jump into it. I think it's the same game across Xbox and iOS. Uh, from the very limited footage I've seen, by the way, there is not a lot of this game out there, and I kind of stumbled across these game files, uh, so I thought, like, let's jump in, let's take a look, let's explore this game. There's really not a lot of this on the internet, so let's go in and see what we can find. So, you can see the Scratch logo there, uh, so this is kind of based around, uh, well, we've got save files here, let me just skip through this. Uh, based around the year 2012, I think this was due to come out, so, main menu. Main menu then, we've got game modes, uh, there you see the Xbox Live I was talking about, I don't think that is still a functional leaderboards, achievements. Uh, there's also some DLC in the form of new characters, um, but yeah, let's jump in to game modes. These are the different game modes, you've got Exhibition, Road to WrestleMania, you've got the Royal Rumble, Saturday Night's Main Event, which is a tournament mode, a tag team, and the Gauntlet match. So the Road to WrestleMania, of course, is like uh, almost like a story mode. But yeah, let's just jump in to a quick exhibition match because we want to see who's on this roster and show off some of uh, some of the gameplay. So it's very similar in a way to WWF WrestleFest, the old arcade game. Uh, and it does have some old retro characters in it as well, like Jake the Snake, we have John Cena, Rey Mysterio, The Rock, the Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and Randy Orton. So kind of a mix of stars, you know, big stars at the time, and also some old school stars. So Big Boss Man, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Sergeant Slaughter, uh, The Miz, Del Rio, of course, was a kind of big star around that time, not so much anymore. Uh, Sheamus and CM Punk. And we also have Yokozuna and Zack Ryder makes the cut. So yeah, it's kind of Zack, kind of funny. Zack Ryder's like the odd one out here. Uh, the rest of these are big stars. Um, Zack Ryder, I guess he was pretty over at the time, to be fair to him. There's also, so these are the locked characters. I believe this is the DLC. Um, I don't know if there's currently any way to get the DLC, but I think there are some hacked versions of an iOS version of this game with a DLC, so I could maybe try and get hold of that um, for a future video. But for now, let's take a look at this. So I am going to be... Who should we be? Stone Cold! Uh, I don't think I said who I'm against. Which arena should we take a look at then? Ooh, WrestleMania 27. So yeah, the controls for this are very, very straightforward. It's like B is punch, A is kick. Oh, there you go. See it on the screen name, that's it. Entrance is also very, very basic. So you are Stone Cold here against The Rock. Um, and the entrance is here. This is kind of similar. You may have seen a game, Retromania Wrestling. Um, 
And Justin Roberts looking a bit worse for wear there, the baggiest suits. Referee walking a tightrope on the side of a ring there. But yeah, the gameplay here, very, very basic. One button punch, one button kick. Apparently the kick button is also the pin button. A bit of but oh no, thrown out the ring. Well, I think it's all over because I don't know how to get back in the ring. So we could be in trouble here. Oh yeah, back in the ring. Oh, okay, you just push towards the ring. Okay, so that's very easy. The controls are probably, yeah, the most basic ever. Uh, of course, this is designed to be played with a joystick and just a couple of arcade buttons, so that would check out. But yeah, like I was saying, this Xbox version was designed to be played on Xbox Live Arcade. I'm not completely familiar with what Xbox Live Arcade was, but I think it was like some kind of, you play like these little arcade games online, <laughs> big pile driver there. I think we're really whooping the rock here. Um, you see we've got the little health bars up the top of the screen. Also, I don't think there's much skill in this. I am just button mashing and winning. Like, I don't think there's a hell of a lot going on here. Although, I don't know how he's counted that. Yeah, big rematch here for WrestleMania 17 main event. I'm at WrestleMania 50. Oh, there's Stone Cold Stunner. That's got to be it, surely. Ref counter. No rope breaks. Oh, he kicks out a one. So, yeah, very, very much just a case of button mashing, I think. Um, yeah, going to say gameplay is it's not the most fun game. It's just so cool to find this relic of a game, which not many people know about. Barely anyone has any access to this game. But yeah, to be able to like get a hold of this game and play it, very, very cool, I think. It's worth it for that alone, for the, uh, the novelty of that. And we got it here. But yeah, in terms of like great gameplay, this would have been around the same time, I guess, as like SVR 11. Uh, probably WWE All-Stars around that time as well, so... It's... Oh, was he doing the People's Elbow? The People's Elbow, I think I'm in trouble here. Button mask to kick out, yeah, we get there just in time. Let's pin him. Just for one. But yeah, as I was saying, there's like plenty of other games around this time, way, way better than this. This isn't going to be winning any prizes for like being a top... Oh, God. I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, so, so close. But yeah, we've just lost the match to the rock there. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, in terms of gameplay, this isn't anything to write home about. It's definitely something cool to see. So that was the exhibition. I think let's jump in and play. I kind of want to do the road to WrestleMania, but also the Royal Rumble would help show off a few characters. Let's do a rumble. To try and show off as many characters as possible. Uh, so this time I'm going to be a Rey Mysterio. There we have him, Boyaka Boyaka 619. Boyaka Boyaka. That's my Pueblo, Boyaka Boyaka. So we also have Shawn Michaels, Sergeant Slaughter. <clears throat> yeah, the Macho Man, yeah. Sergeant. But yeah, I mentioned Retromania Wrestling, um, very much like the unofficial sequel to WrestleFest. Definitely a lot better than this game as well. I did have a lot of fun playing Retromania Wrestling back when I did. I haven't played it for a while, actually, but did have a lot of fun playing Retromania uh, when that first came out. I will say that Retromania is a lot better than this. Um, I will actually say, I, I have played the old WrestleFest game, um, the arcade in my city, Cardiff, has it, so I've been there and played it quite a few times. Uh, and I will also say, like, I think the original WrestleFest is better than this game. But again, we're not, we're clearly not playing this for fun. This is just pretty cool to see this game that never was, you know, the sequel to, like, a very famous game, but just never got released. Well, it did get released on iOS, apparently. 
I don't think it ever did get released on um, Xbox. Again, I did I did actually research quite a bit before doing this video. Oh, The Undertaker's in the ring. And where did he come from? Anzac Riders here. Del Rio as well. Ring is getting pretty full, actually. Yokozuna. But yeah, I did do quite a bit of research before filming this, and I could not really find any information about this game at all online. So I've got to say, like, it doesn't seem like much is known. I will say, though, like, if anyone does know anything about this game, like, any more than what I'm saying in this video, if there's, like, some insight you can offer or some interest in, um, you know, trivia or anything about this game, please do let me know. Like, drop it in the comments below. Send me a message. Let me know, because I would love to hear from you. <laughs> Mysterio hitting the um, Hilter Will backbreaker on Yokozuna. They're very realistic. Oh, the Tombstone. Kind of hard, there's so much going on here. Kind of hard to keep track of what's going on. Even so, very easy to put. Oh, and you've been eliminated here. Yokozuna tossing Ray over the top rope. Um, have I just got to wait for the match to run out, or am I controlling someone else? No, it looks like the AI is doing it now. So, who have we got in here then? The Rock. Taker, Matu Man, and Punk uh, look to be fighting there. HBK now looking to eliminate The Rock. Big for Snake and Yokozuna. Oh, and HBK looked like he nearly broke his back there. The Rock suplex in Punk. It would have been cool if that suplex would have gone to the outside of the ring because it did look kind of like the animation he got thrown out. Jake the Snake going up top decides better of it. Taker just eliminates Zack Ryder there. Oh, there we have a great white Sheamus has just entered from the bottom of the screen there. And he is looking pretty pasty. Jake the Snake hits for DDT there on Punk. And Jake the Snake Roberts has eliminated CM Punk. Here we have uh, Randy Orton now getting in the prey. I wonder when this match ends, if it's just going to keep going continuously until uh, everyone's eliminated. So Undertaker just got eliminated. The Megos were rock. Um, who is that? Zack Swagger? No, the Miz? G uh, no, Chris Jericho. Who is that? Sorry, I can't quite work out who that is. I didn't see him on the... Is, is that Jericho? Like, short-haired 2007 Jericho. Was Chris Jericho with WWE in 2012? There is a big boss, man. Oh, and Yokozuna has just been tossed out of the ring. Here comes Stone Cold. Stone Cold entering the Rumble. Of course, Stone Cold with a record uh, winning the Rumble the most times of anyone. Oh, Orton and Jake Snake just collide there. Oh, and Triple H is in the ring as well. I didn't even see him. But yeah, the action thick and fast here. And here we see John Cena entering. Uh, I've completely lost count of how many people... Oh, there goes Stone Cold. Completely lost count of... And there goes the big boss man. Completely lost count of how many people have entered and been eliminated here thus far. There goes the snake, Triple H. Chucking Jake the Snake out, swinging neck breaker on Cena there. I haven't seen any more entries, so this might now be the final five. So in the ring we have Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, John Cena, and the Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, oh, and there goes the Macho Man, and there goes Triple H, so we're now down to the final three. Randy Orton, Shawn Michaels, and John Cena.
Michael's taken down there. Drop kick, vintage Randy Orton. Which one of these will go on to headline wrestling? Ah, oh, Shawn Michaels just taunted. Oh, sweet the music. Sweet the music. So there are finishes in this game. I don't know how to do them. I did bust out a stunner when I was stone cold in the last match. I don't know what button I pressed to do that. Uh, and I also have no idea how you eliminate people. Which is probably why I got eliminated. And speaking of eliminated, there goes Cena. So we're now down to Michaels and Orton. Michaels goes up top, then Orton's back up. Oh, and a Lufez press there. Shades of a young Stone Cold. I would say this rumble is way more exciting than it has any right to be. Orton goes to the well once again. If it worked the first time, why switch it up? And a belly to belly. And then Michael into a rope. Another loose Fez press. Who will win the Royal Rumble? Michael goes up top, and the elbow, but I don't think he got all of it, because Orton's up, and now he's stomping away, stomping a mud hole in him. And the showstopper, HBK. He's tuning up the band, the sweet chin music. Orton's in trouble now. Michael's into the ropes. Orton's really feeling that one. The crowd are going absolutely wild here. Orton could be in big, big trouble. And he hits back with another Lufez press. Very limited moveset in this game, it seems. Orton's trying to send Michaels into ropes, but Michaels has other ideas. So it also looks like you can't be... Oh, and there goes Orton. I was going to say, it looks like you can't be whipped over the ropes. It looks like you can only be lifted and thrown out from what I've seen. Here and Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. If I'd leave, Justin Roberts, Fed do be announcing Shawn Michaels has won the WWE WrestleFest Royal Rumble. So hopefully that lets us uh, see some of the... Um, some of the different characters in this game in the Royal Rumble mode. So I think, I think what we can now do is jump in and maybe try out this Road to WrestleMania mode. Now, I feel, I have tried this and you have to win to progress to the next match. So I'm kind of reliant on being able to win. Um, so who shall we be for this? I am... Uh, okay, so it looks like it was The Miz, not Jericho or Jake Hager, like I um, mistakenly thought the mystery person from the last match. I think... Let's take... Let's be Punk. And let's have Cena as our tag partner. Or Slash, whatever... Whatever scene, maybe if that's like the rivalry you pick, I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. So I think this is like a four, five week rivalry, like story mode kind of thing. Do so you have it? Monday Night Raw, CM Punk making his way to the ring and going to drop a pipe bomb. And here comes The Undertaker. So hoping to see like a load of cool characters. Oh, we're straight in the match here. CM Punk in this corner. The Undertaker.
So yeah, from what I understand, there are some kind of like um, cutscenes, um, not cutscenes is probably not the right word, but there are, is like some kind of story to go with this mode. Um, but it looks like we're straight into the first match here. And yes, I will be button mashing as much as possible uh, because I believe you need to win to be able to progress to the next part of the story. Otherwise, oh, the GTS! I don't know where that came from. But yeah, I believe you need to win the match to progress to the next part of the story, so I will be just trying to win as much as possible. Which is kind of difficult because I've never played this game. I do not know what the difficulty setting is. Can we have a free count here? Nope. Take a kicks out. So you you got the health bar at the top. And you can kind of see what has happened there. Oh, we've just tapped him out, I think. Here we just tapped him out. C -M -Punk. Well, that was kind of easy. I think we're starting to get pretty good at this game. Okay, so... Undertaker down. So yeah, this is what I mean. We have Mean Gene here doing envies. So with a crowd behind CM Punk, all the momentum was on his side early as he quickly disposed of Undertaker. It needs to be faster than this, with an assortment of powerful attacks. Undertaker stayed stunned in the ring after the match. Set for several minutes as he contemplated what this loss means to his championship aspirations. Yeah, I would say the text needs to go across maybe a little bit faster. Uh, it, I could kind of like read it too fast for what was going across. Or even better still, it would be pretty cool to have Mean Gene read it out. Um, but yeah, so that's week one done. We're into week two now on SmackDown. So let's take a look now at the SmackDown arena, which I'm kind of looking forward to seeing. But yeah, as you can see on these loading screens, the buttons are so basic. It's like A, B. SmackDown arena is also looking pretty cool. Yeah, match against Rey Mysterio. So yeah, again, this game seems to be shrouded in mystery. Like, I don't know what the deal with this game was. Whether it actually did release on Xbox. I know it did release on iOS um, is no longer available on iOS. I think it was pulled from the App Store, I mean, at least 10 years ago at this point. And the GTS, that could be it already. Nope, Mysterio kicks out at one. But yeah, I don't know whether there's a difficulty setting. Maybe we look at the options and see if there's difficulty setting. Um, before recording, I was struggling to win any matches. And in fact, you saw in the first match we tried, I lost. But since starting this, I seem to just be button mashing and winning without too much uh, difficulty. So Mysterio again kicks out at one, but he's looking pretty tired. I wonder if you have to fully deplete the health bar. Oh, if you fully deplete the health bar, you can tap him out easy. Okay, so that's what we've done again there. We tapped him out. There we go, week two down. So what's Mean Gene saying for us this week? This victory was a culmination of an emotional war of word, words that had been taking place behind the scenes. Between these two superstars, he needs to talk shorter sentences. How will Rey Mysterio handle this loss? Who will be next to challenge CM Punk on his way up the ladder? We will find out soon. I thank you very much. So 
So we go um, match three. Oh, I should have mentioned as well. Remember United States Championship backstory, like, whatever. So after this, we got SmackDown, Triple Threat, and then Night of Champions. So I guess that's the title match. Uh, the Triple Threat would be kind of interesting. But we've got another exhibition here back on Raw. So let's see who we got this time. There we have him. Look in my eyes, what do you see? Oh, it's the big boss man. Also, they love putting... Oh, it's a cage match. Oh God, I don't know how to climb the cage. Hope you can win by pin. Yeah, I was going to say, WWE games, I mean, this was 10 years ago, but even now with the 2K games, they absolutely love this, like, old school, um, what was this, like, the new gen big boss man. I just want to see the Attitude Era boss man in a video game, you know, the one dressed all in black, like McMahon's lackey, you know, the heel boss man. I just want to see, uh, oh, and there's a GTS already. CM Punk really taking it to Big Boss Man, so I wonder if it's po okay. So when you go for the submission, you don't they don't tap? They seem to counter it. So he's going to counter it now. Oh no, we got it, we got it. I th I did. I thought he had enough health to get out of that. Here is your winner, C M Punk. So yeah, luckily we didn't have to climb out of the cage for that one, because I wouldn't have known how to climb out of the cage. Uh, this victory was a culmination of an emotional... Oh no, don't say it's the same text as last time. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, it's exactly the same text. I was kind of hoping each story would be unique, or at least at the very minimum, each week would be um, unique to the... You know, each week would be different. That's kind of disappointing. So anyway, now we got a match, triple threat match. So I think this is the number one contenders match for the United States title. We can win this, we go to the Night of Champions. Look in my eyes, what do you see? Who we got? The Gamer. In Miz and Triple H with a jobber entrances. The game Triple H. Yeah, I love how they got Justin Roberts to voice it, and that clearly just isn't Justin Roberts in the suits. Mm, so kind of interesting in these multi-man matches, you can't see everyone else's health bar, you can only see your own, it looks like. And they don't seem to be attacking each other, they only seem to be going for me, or maybe it's just me going for them. But yeah, the 1v1 matches have been pretty straightforward so far. I wonder what this one is going to be like, whether the third man is going to be a bit of a wild card in this. Referee, do you see that? He just walks through them as well. Oh, Triple H with a kitchen sink there. <laughs> Maybe I just let those two fight it out for a bit. This is a GTS. Remember power bomb. You're for the pin. Did Miz break it up? No, Triple H kicks out of one. And another GTS for Miz. No, 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 no. He's going to steal the win. Triple H, the ultimate opportunist. Yeah, I think the triple threat is probably the most fun I've had so far. Oh, the skull crushing finale. 
He's missed the time for the pin. Oh, he kicks out at one. Here we go, a GTS. I don't know, is there like a technique for winning for pinfall? I haven't quite worked that out yet, how to win by pinfall. Oh, we could get the tap here. There we have it. CM Punk once again. So it looks like submission is the way to do this. But also, I don't know how to win by pinfall because they keep kicking out. Oh, one. Unless maybe I'm supposed to button mash. I know you button mash to kick out of the pin. I oh, he's just saying the same thing again. Mean Gene, you're boring. Um, so yeah, here we go. The Night of Champions, the final match in the Road to WrestleMania mode. Um, ironically, Road to WrestleMania mode doesn't end at WrestleMania. It's, it's seemingly ending at Night of Champions. But we got a title match for the United States title. So let's see who, who we're challenging, actually. Is it is it Cena? Is that who we picked at the start? Is that what that was? Oh, it's Seamus. So I don't know why it why it wanted me to pick Cena at the start. Yeah, we have Seamus. Introducing the challenger. C M Punk. In this corner. The Celtic Warrior. Seamus. I was going to say that CM Punk's tattoos look kind of realistic in this. And then you have Sheamus. Could not look more like a cartoon. And the referee is just blocking our view as well. Get out of the way. So the thing I quite like about when playing um, Retromania, which is another game like very similar to this, uh, is that the timing is very important and there's like you can only do certain moves at certain points so there's definitely more to the controls there with this I am literally just button mashing uh, I don't it doesn't seem to be anything to do with the timing it's just like hit the buttons and you'll be fine like I don't know what buttons to do different grapples I, I'm just mashing Hopefully it's enough to put up... Seamus is putting on quite a fight, actually. We might struggle here a little. My health bar is getting pretty low, actually. Mm, this is a close fight. Kick out, kick out. That was close, that was close. All right, I'm going to let him get up. Okay, let's tap him out, tap him out. And it is all over. You're new. Your winner, You're new United States champion, CM Punk. Here we go, Mean Gene finally saying something new here. Breaking news, new United States champion. In an epic encounter, CM Punk put forth an impressive effort to claim a monumental victory over Sheamus for the title. These battle-tested ring warriors gave it everything they had and gave the WWE Universe a title match for the ages. Yes, indeed, Mean Gene. There we have it. I also unlocked a trophy as well. Didn't realize this game had trophies. Um, so yeah, that was the United States Road to WrestleMania mode. It looks like you have to progress through each one to eventually lock them all. So you've got Intercontinental next, Tag Team, World Heavyweight, WWE. Uh, that's all of them, actually. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this. Do let me know if you've enjoyed this. I could maybe do some more playthroughs so you could see what these modes are like. But, like, if we're being honest here, I imagine it's going to be very, very similar to that one. I can't imagine there wasn't much depth in that United States playthrough. Uh, the same cutscene played about three times of the four times, the five times there was a cutscene. 
So yeah, the tag team one would be kind of interesting though. I guess maybe that's what Cena is, is our tag partner. But yeah, anyway, that is going to do it for this the first look then at WWE WrestleFest. Let me know if you want to see any of these other modes. Um, could maybe look at the Saturday Night Main Event Tournament tag team going on the match. But for this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care and I'll catch you again next time.